Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 553. What is deep vein thrombosis? Deep vein thrombosis is formation of a blood clot, also known as a thrombus, in the deep vein, which are predominantly in the legs. What is the Virchow's triad that predisposes you to getting deep vein thrombosis? Deep vein thrombosis occurs if you have any of these predisposing conditions such as blood stasis in which the blood is not moving properly so therefore the blood is sitting still for a longer period of time. This can lead to clot formation. Also if you have a hypercoagulability condition such as defect in the coagulation cascade protein, most commonly factor V laden. So in this condition you are more likely to form clots in your deep veins therefore leading to deep vein thrombosis. And lastly, if you have endothelial damage, this would lead to exposing of the collagen and that can trigger clotting cascade. So again, to summarize this Virchow's triad that leads to venous thrombosis, remember decreased blood flow, which is the venous stasis, also increased tendency to clot, hypercoagulability, and blood vessel wall damage, which can all lead to this deep vein thrombosis. How does a clot formed in the deep veins of the legs lead to pulmonary embolism? A clot that has been formed in the deep veins of the legs can break off from the site of origin and travel in the bloodstream, eventually making its way to the lung where it can lodge and cause pulmonary embolus. Describe the Homan sign seen with deep vein thrombosis. Homan sign seen in deep vein thrombosis is the dorsiflexion of the foot which leads to calf pain. What drug is used in the acute management and prevention of deep vein thrombosis? Heparin is used for the prevention and acute management for deep vein thrombosis. What drug is used in the long-term prevention of deep vein thrombosis and its reoccurrence? The drug used for long-term prevention of deep vein thrombosis is warfarin. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.